Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's early childhood learning apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin, and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge, and today I would like to talk about some early childhood learning apps. And I'll start with a few simple ones, and I'll end with my favorite one. And so let's start with a few very simple ones. And um, this is called Learning Patterns. And this is a very simple app that allows kids to try and guess what the last item in a pattern is. So you can see that this one, for example. Can you complete the pattern? So you're asked to complete the pattern. And if you what? do it wrong, it doesn't go. Four. And if you do it right, you did it. Can you complete the pattern? Five, zero, four. You did it. Can you complete the pattern? So, in this app, all you do is practice completing the patterns, and they're more complex patterns, so you can actually go to a higher level. And a lot of these apps have these, the ability to, for parents to control whether they want to uh, add complexity to the task and the things that have a lock on them actually require payment but you can see that there's at least a few that you can try out. The second one is a Montessori vocabulary and in this one kids learn vocabulary about animals in this case. This is a very simple app. It's great to teach those basic things. It's definitely for early childhood. It's just practice. And what you have here is you have the animals and uh, you can scroll and uh, get a different animal. And you can hear what it's called. Sheep. And obviously it's written. And I like the fact that it's written in a lowercase letters because that allows kids to get to know those lowercase letters and not just uppercase. And you get a picture of what it looks like. So you get the silhouette, you get the way it's spelled and written, you get to hear it, and you get to see it. And this is as simple as it gets. And this is Montessori approach to vocabulary. The next one I'd like to show you is, again, along the same lines. It's all about rhymes. We know that rhymes is a very important, the ability to rhyme is a very important skill in emergent literacy. And here are some activities for Draw kids to line between the pictures that rhyme to uh, see what rhymes and so we have here words lobster cab so if you touch awesome draw a line between the pictures that rhyme if you don't know what the picture is you can touch it and then hear and that way you can make a decision about what rhymes, for example, if I try this, it will not work, but if I try Good this, work. it will work. Draw a line between the and pictures that... So this is one activity. Another activity is this Find activity. The picture that rhymes with the picture on the left. So if you don't know what that is, you touch it. Jam. And it's jam, and now you try... Toast. And that didn't work. Tram. And tram worked. Tram did worked. It. So you get the idea and this is Montessori Rhyme Time and this is a great app to develop those rhyming abilities. And now I would like to go to the app I like the most out of these apps and this is an app called Tiny Tap. And Tiny Tap has a few features that I love. The first thing is that it's got a huge marketplace with lots of activities that have been made by others. So here's one example, Counting Monsters. This Counting was made by somebody monsters. else. You're about to meet 10 crazy monsters. Tap anywhere to begin. <laughs> Hello, Secret Agent Zero cleared. Let's go. The first monster we're looking for is a special unicorn monster with one horn. Tap on it when you see it. Great job! You found so you can see monster. that the activity in this book is actually based on oral directions and then using the touch 
to answer questions. Now, the questions could be very simple, like they are now here in counting, but they can actually be as complex as you'd like to make them. So this is fantastic, and if you go to the marketplace, what you can see is that there is a huge array of products that were created by people around the world that you can use, I would always argue, before you give this to kids, you want to make sure that the quality is good and that in what you're getting is actually teaching a concept you like in a way you like, but you can see that there are lots of options that they are actually in multiple languages. There's Hebrew here, there's French, there's uh, Spanish, so people have used it in different ways uh, to teach different concepts. So you can download all of this, but what makes this app unique and really exceptional is its ability to give you the option of creating your own books like that. And the way you do that is by choosing a kind of activity and then generating the actual work. So for example, let us uh, import it from our albums. And this goes straight to all of the things you have on your iPad. And I've taken a few pictures that we can use in this case from my office. And um, let's take this photo. And now we've got three photos and a clock. So you, we can take multiple photos. And now we're done. And now you, we can add activity. And for that, you will see we need to add a photo. So, and the activities are divided into three. You can ask a question and then uh, mark the response. You create a soundboard where students or anybody who's using it really, wherever they press on something that is live, that is that you've attached a, a, a sound to, it'll come up. So let's do that. Let's create a soundboard. And the way you do that is by marking a specific area, in this case this one, and the, the pictures came out um, a little bit uh, slanted, that can be fixed, but right now I just want to demonstrate. So now you have uh, this creature, I think it's a bunny, so you can start recording. This is a bunny. Bunny. And Let's do this one. This is a dog. His name is Spot. And let's do another one. This is a caterpillar, a very hungry caterpillar. And now, since we're done, we've got the soundboard. And if we click on it, we can see exactly what the areas are and we can clean that up. We can make it more accurate around the shape. I'm not sure that's necessary in this case. And then uh, let's give it a name, um, shelf, because it's items on my shelf, right? And now we've got uh, this soundboard and we can share it with others, right? We can share it with the public just like all the other items you saw there or you can actually email a link. And now we can choose a background music. Uh, I don't know what that sounds like, let's try. That's good music. And now we are done. And we have this book on our shelf. And now you can hear the music. And if you press on anything, this is a bunny. Bunny. This is a dog. His name is Spot. But the great advantage here is really that this is limitless and really imagination reigns supreme. You can have lots of fun with this app and actually have kids create their own versions of this app. 
So this is called Tiny Tap, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.